All right, welcome back to another video. Today is gonna to be a part two of preparing for Florida. Last video, I did squats, hamstring curls, and calf raises. Um, but today I'm gonna to do depth drops and box jumps. And today I'm also going to be answering some questions. I told you guys on my Instagram story to comment a question or topic I should talk about. And I'm gonna choose two today. So the first one is, what goals do you have for Florida? And the second question is a deep question, which I'll get into after I answer the first one. So um, today is Monday and I leave Wednesday for Florida. I'm going to be there for a week and a half, I think. So it'll be fun. I'll be with John Evans, Isaiah Rivera, Austin and Hunter. So THP squad going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to be vlogging and recording a lot of it. Um, even a lot of non-training and dunking stuff. So stay tuned for that. I just finished a five minute run slash jog. Um, I'm gonna do a McGill big three, but I'm gonna answer this question once I catch my breath. <laughs> All right, so for the first question, what goals do you have for Florida? I don't have many goals for it. I'm mainly just there to have fun and just get better strength wise and health wise for like my injury. I haven't really thought about goals up until like I saw this question, but it would be cool to hit 315 for half squat. Um, as you saw in my last video, if you guys watched it, I hit 275 for two. It was pretty easy. I could have done more, but I just capped it off at two. So yeah, hitting 315 in, in Florida, that'd be sick. I never have. Um, ever lifted that but feeling a lot stronger now than I was before the injury which is interesting actually so 315 would be cool and then to be able to jump full approach that would be a big win for me um, maybe to touch 10 feet again or even just to be able to dunk again um, that would be fun but Rather than that, I don't know about any other goals. Um, obviously, have fun because we're going to do some fun stuff while I'm there. We're probably going to go top golf. I'm probably going to film that. So that'll be entertaining. And then, yeah, just have a good time, get better together. And I'm going to film a lot of it for you guys. And then I'll post it on YouTube trying to be more consistent on YouTube. I'm gonna try to start aiming for a video a week and see where that gets me. And yeah. All right, so next up, I'm gonna do depth drops. I already did 26 inch depth drops. Um, now I'm gonna do some 32 inch and then I'm gonna get into my box jumps. But I'm also gonna talk about the second question, which is very deep. Um, I think he said, Talk about men's spiritual growth and fighting temptation against worldly desires. So, yeah, as I work out, I'm going to try and talk about it. So, to grow spiritually, especially in my experience, I would say definitely dive into the Bible and His Word. Um, in John, I believe, it says... In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So what better way to have a relationship with God than to dive into His Word and just know more about Him. Um, so yeah, that really helped me. And that's number one for me, I'd say. Number two is just prayer. Uh, pray a lot, and I believe it also says somewhere um, to pray often. So just have that relationship with God. Talk to Him. Praying doesn't isn't just requests. Um, you don't treat Him like a genie, but you treat Him like your Father because that's what He is to you. So you just have a conversation with Him. Seek for help and all that. And you'll find it. And He will give you answers um, according to His will. Sometimes what you want is not what He wants, um, but it's for the better. And you just got to trust them and have faith. That's the point of faith, just to trust them fully, even if you don't see it. And then that would be number two for me. 
Number three, I would say, is worship music really helps. Um, whatever you put into your ears, that's what's flowing into your brain. So if you're listening to rap music that's about like violence or all that, or <sighs> lust or any of that, that's going to be what's flowing through your mind. So what I did was just listen to worship, worship music every time you listen to music. Um, it really helps get in the right mindset. Uh, the words that are flowing through your brain are just all pure. Um, and yeah, that really helps as well. A fourth one that is very important to me as well is find yourself a good uh, community of fellow believers. Because whenever you fall down in your spiritually in your spiritual relationship with God, in your walk with God, um, you have others to help you back up, um, others to pray for you. Because it also says in the Bible, when two or three are gathered, um, there he is. And as in he, uh, there is God. Um, so just having a good community to just help you is very helpful. Because if all you are surrounded by is non-believers and you're trying to be a believer, um, it's very hard to grow spiritually because you don't have like-minded people to push you, you know. Um, but that's what I would say for growing spiritually. For the temptations um, of worldly desires, one thing I do want to say really quick, I'm also going to turn this so I can start doing box jumps, but one thing I do want to say for that is to understand that everything of this world is temporary. I believe in Ephesians, it talks about, it's like chasing after the wind. Um, that's like the world, and you're never ever going to be satisfied from the world, um, no matter how hard you try. Whether it's money, you always want more. Whether it's followers for social media, you always want more. Um, like a car, you always want like, upgrades or something, um, but that's ne never going to satisfy. So what I learned is that many things of this world are temporary, if not everything of this world is temporary. But the one thing that is eternal is God. Um, and you, you could choose your eternity, um, heaven or hell. And what I like to put it as, like, I'd rather have temporary pain but eternal peace um, with God than temporary fun and eternal pain in hell. So it's definitely something to think about. Um, it's not an easy switch to make. All right, that felt good. It's not an easy switch to make, but just really dive into what I said, you know. Um, not what I said, but what God says. So, so if you have questions about this, um, you can honestly DM me on dom.dunks and I'll be happy to try and answer. But yeah, that's a little bit of what I have to say for that question. It's a really good question because I'm very invested in my faith and walk with God. And that's a main part, if not uh, my whole purpose in life. So it's really good. Back then, I probably wouldn't say this on camera because I would be like nervous or ashamed or anything like that. But in the Bible, it also says, if you're ashamed of me, here, then he will be ashamed of you in front of the gates of heaven. Um, forgot the exact words, but I can pop it up on the screen right there. But yeah, that's a little bit of my daily dose of scripture. But we could go back to talking about Florida. So yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm going to get there Wednesday night. I'm probably going to work out before Florida. So I actually might vlog all day Florida, which is going to be super fun. And yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, I'm going to put my mic on my hat really quick because it's pulling down my shirt. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Oh. 
All right, I'm gonna do one more on this height, and then I'm gonna move it up to 32 inches, and probably do like three jumps. Pain wise, I didn't feel any pain, but that jump just felt terrible. Felt like no bounce. Felt like I barely made it up. Oh, there we go, that's better. All right, I'm gonna do one more and then that'll be it for the workout. And then my next video will probably be me in Florida. So stay tuned for that. I'm guessing I can make two to three videos out of the trip, which is good. But yeah, that's it for today. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me at dom.dunks um, for more content, more content coming. I collaborated with my friend Sam Vandergrift. He filmed for me some workout videos and basketball videos. So yeah, see you in Florida.